Hi guys, in this video let's talk about a problem finding the square root of integer. So given an integer n, you have to compute and return the square root of n. If n is not a perfect square, so return the floor of square root of n and do it without using the square root function from the standard library. So the range of n is 1 from 1 to 10 to the power 9. Let's say the output is uh, let's say the input is 11 so the output is 3. How? Because the square root of 11 is 3.316 therefore we'll take the floor of it so we'll get 3 as the answer. Let's see how this problem can be approached. So one possible way is we know that the range of our answer is going to lie from 1 to n right so we can simply iterate from 1 to n and we can check that if it's square x square becomes equal to equal to n then we can simply return the value of x else if x square is less than n then we know that this x is one possible answer and we'll check for higher values of x so let's say some x plus 1 so the value just greater than x becomes greater than n the square of it becomes greater than n so we know the previous value did satisfy so we will simply return the stored answer because any x greater than this will not satisfy the condition right will not be the answer so let's see how can we optimize this problem because this will give a time complexity of order of n linear time complexity then uh, now let's make some observation let's say i have some value of x we know that it's going to range from 1 to n now this value could be uh, like x square could be equal to equal to n in that case we'll simply return x but if it's less than n then we know that the value lesser than x cannot be the answer right cannot be the answer it's quite possible that the value which is greater than x could be an answer x or any value greater than x can be one such answer so we can reduce our search space and then now we can search between from x to n right now the third condition is when x square is greater than n if this is the case then we know that any value which is greater than x which is greater than x cannot be the answer that means we should look to our left that means we should look to our left and we should also ignore this x because x square was greater than n so here from here comes the intuition to apply binary search because we have a search space and we have a we have a, a conditions because of which we can reduce the space into half so let's see the code for binary search so here we will take um, so if x equal to 0 we will simply return 0 and uh, otherwise we will put our start to 1 and end to x right now this is going to uh, be the while loop for the binary search we will find the mid so start plus n minus start by 2 this we have found our mid like uh, this way because this will avoid overflow okay and if mid is less than equal to x by mid what this means that if if mid into mid is less than equal to x now this could cause overflow therefore uh, we'll write it like this right so first we have reduced the value and then we are checking so if this condition becomes true that means x is one such possible that means mid mid is one such possible answer right so we will simply store the answer and we'll move to right we'll move to right else if this condition fails then we'll move to our left so at then we'll simply return our answer now this this uh, particular binary search uh, approach is going to take the complexity of order of log base to n let's see this with the help of an example so here our n is equal to 10 the start is going to be 1 initially and end is going to be 10 mid is 5 so 5 square is greater than 10 right therefore we should move to our left so end will become mid minus 1 and 1 will remain same a start will remain same so mid is equal to 2 now 4 is less than 10 so we will move to our right and start will become mid plus 1 and 4 will remain same end will remain same now mid is 3 3 square is less than 10 
so what we'll do we'll again so basically whenever we are getting it as less than uh, something less than the value so this this particular number could be one possible answer so first we have stored 2 because 2 square was less than 10 then when we got 3 square less than 10 so we will simply store 3 now okay and we will move to our right so we will get uh, start equal to mid plus 1 this will remain same and we will get mid as 4 now 4 square is greater than 10 so we will simply exit the while loop and we will return the stored answer which is 3 so that's the running of the algorithm so thank you so much